What's going on everybody? It's Richard Koberger here, the Blue Collar Nerd. Well, the Google Local Services integration with Service Titan is now out of beta and available for everybody. And in this video, I'm gonna be going over what you need to know before enabling it. So Google Local Services, if you are not already aware, is a new-ish uh, advertising platform from Google. And as the name would suggest, it is meant specifically for locally provided services, including, of course, the trades, HVAC, plumbing, electrical, garage door, landscaping, pest control, everything that Service Titan provides for. And for search queries around the trade, something like plumber near me, Google is prioritizing the local service ads first. They're putting those front and center. Now you are, of course, going to need a Google Local Services account already set up in order to use this integration with Service Titan. And so if you are not already a part of Google Local Services, there's going to be a link in the description down below to get the ball rolling and get that process started. If you are not already enrolled in Google Local Services, fair warning, it is quite the process to get started with it because in order to get Google verified, you do have to get all of your employees background checked through Google's provider. So what this integration does is it enables the instant booking feature with Google Local Services. So with this integration on your local services ads, you'll now have this schedule button. So when a customer taps that schedule button, they'll first be taken to this list of job types where they can select what type of job it is that they are trying to book. They'll then be able to choose a day and time that they would like to book for, and that is going to be tied to your actual availability in Service Titan. And then finally, they'll be taken to this page where they can see what day and time they chose to schedule for. They'll see a note from you, the contractor, and they'll be able to fill in their contact information. And once they submit that, that lead will hit the booking section of your call screen in Service Titan. So if you've already used the web scheduler or if you've used integrations with other companies like HomeAdvisor, then you're already familiar with this bookings tab, but your Google local services leads will be easily identifiable by this Google logo in the lower left-hand corner. And then you or your office staff would book that job as normal, except for that the contact details are already going to be filled in as well as the marketing campaign. And the reason that you would want to enable this is because it creates more convenience for your clients and more convenience for your clients ultimately means more leads. Being able to just book an appointment right then and there from Google Local Services, it's very seamless and it's very convenient. And offering this instant booking feature will help you stand out on a platform that is getting more and more crowded as time goes on. So if you are already registered with Google Local Services, then here is how to set this up. I'm gonna be giving you a real high level overview here, not going into every nitty gritty detail of the setup process, but I will put a link in the description down below to the Academy course where it walks you through in detail. So in Service Titan under settings and integrations, there's a section called marketing integrations. And if you click on that, you should see Google Local Services. Click configure there and then you'll see this four step process. So step one is where you're going to enter all of your Google Local Services account information in order to link that account with Service Titan. Step two is where you're going to choose the type of capacity planning that you want to use with Google Local Services. So this is how Google is going to know what availability it should and should not show to the customer. Now there are two options here. You can use business hours or you can use adjustable capacity planning. So business hours is going to be using the business hour settings in Service Titan. That's something you should already have set up, but it will give you the option there to revisit it and make any changes that you need to. That's where you can say, yeah, we offer, you know, an eight to 10, a two to four different time slots like that. And then it will look at your dispatch board to see where jobs are already booked, depending on which technicians are assigned to which business units. So for example, let's say that your customer wanted to book a consultation to talk about new equipment. Well, first Google is going to look into Service Titan to see which business unit that job type falls under. So let's say your consultation falls under the sales business unit. Then it's going to look at what technicians fall under that sales business unit. And then finally, it's going to look at when those technicians do and do not already have jobs booked. And wherever it sees availability, that is what it will show to the customer. Now, the biggest downside of doing it this way is that if you're using technician shifts, that is totally left out of the picture. So on the weekends, for example, if you only have one or two technicians on call, that gets a little bit more complicated because it's still going to be looking at all of the technicians that technically have availability. Even though in your mind, most of those technicians don't really have availability, it's just the one or two that are on call, Google Local Services doesn't have any way of knowing that. Now, there are some ways to work around this. For example, you could make a dedicated on-call business unit, or honestly, the easiest thing to do would be to just disable the instant booking feature for times when there's only an on-call technician available, which you can do in the next step. If you use adjustable capacity planning, however, that part's not an issue because technician shifts are tied in. Adjustable capacity planning also gives you the ability to strategically over or under book. 
Adjustable capacity planning though, that's, that's a big topic and a topic for another day. So if you're not already using adjustable capacity planning, my advice would be to just stick with the business hours for now. Even if you end up making some compromises there, like disabling it for weekends, I would argue that's still way better than leaving it off entirely. Okay, then step three in the setup is the booking widget step. This is where, like I mentioned earlier, you can make some manual adjustments to what you want the booking widget to show. So if we didn't want it to show weekend availability, this is where we could say, hey, just don't show that. In this step, you can also input a short message that people will see during the booking process. And you can also input a default dispatch fee, although you can also edit that dispatch fee individually by job type in the next step. And then finally, step four is to map standard job types. So Google has default job types that it will offer to people when they're trying to book. So like we showed before, it's gonna ask them, hey, what kind of job are you trying to book? And those options that it shows, those are Google's job types, not specifically your job types. So in this step, you'll go down a list of Google's job types and tell it how that correlates to your job types. So maybe Google has a job type called install faucet and in Service Titan, you have a job type called fixture install and you would say, okay, well, fixture install is what correlates to install faucet. Now, another good thing to know about this feature is how the alerts work. So by default, everybody in Service Titan who has the admin role will be automatically enrolled in these alerts. So those people will receive email alerts when a job is booked through Google LSA. They'll get a second alert when the booking is cooling off, meaning it's been sitting there for five minutes and nobody's touched it yet. And they'll also get an email alert if that booking is canceled. Anyways, that's all I got for today. Be sure to hit like if you liked the video. Be sure to subscribe to Service Titan's YouTube channel if you've not done that already. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Appreciate it. Peace.